you see the light bulb. Okay. But trill bites had a lot of different forms. Okay. Now these are called Eurypterus. Another name for them is sea scorpion. Some of these things got to be six feet long. Dana, do we have a picture of them? Mm -hmm. yeah, six feet long. And yes, they are the predecessor of modern day scorpions. Has anybody ever been stung by a scorpion? No. You got a, not a lot of fun, isn't it? Scorpions have a bad sting. Okay, so these are sea scorpions, okay? You're interested. Let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, now, here's a little piece of rock, and you, you'll, you'll have a hard time telling anything about it from that distance. When you come up after the show, you'll be able to look at this closer. It's called a fulgurite. This is where lightning struck a rock. Okay, and you can buy these on the internet. And what happens is it, that lightning is so hot, 50,000 degrees, it melts the rock into a glass. And here we have something which you all should have in your teeth. Now, I don't want your teeth to be green, okay? But this is a mineral called fluorite. It has fluoride in it. And hopefully your toothpaste has some fluoride in it, and your teeth has some fluoride in it, because fluoride protects your teeth against decay. And you want to take care of your teeth, believe me. So fluoride. And it's kind of interesting because... That's an agglomeration of crystals. Here's another piece of fluorite. It just makes a real pretty little crystal, octahedral pattern. Make kind it into a ring. Mm -hmm. cool. Now what we're going to see next is cosmic collisions. It's a very well done show. lasts about 20-25 minutes. And it's going to tell you how our world our current reality was created by various things colliding together. Not cars, okay, but we're talking about like two things collided in the early solar system and made our moon. You'll see how that happened. You're going to see the results of the Chicxulub impact, just how all those dinosaurs got cooked, okay? You're going to see what happens when two galaxies collide. It's really well done. It's a front-running show at the American Museum of Natural History. We have special permission to show this, so we're not breaking the law. And it's highly educational and really, really cool. Any questions so far? Yes? Like a lot of years ago, the animals were big, right? Mm-hmm. Why, well, why are, uh, like, now, like, small? Why the small? Now, when you say a lot of years ago, how long are you talking about? Like, billions of years ago. Billions of years? Well, we didn't have, we really didn't have... Uh, what you'll call animals uh, until starting about 500 million years ago. And that's called the Cambrian Explosion. And then we started getting all these varied forms of creatures and things, and then they started to occupy the uh, land. Remember, we got the ozone layer, and then they come out of the water without fear of UV light. And so then it took a while for animals to get big, but dinosaurs were big. Dinosaurs ruled the earth from about 200 to 65 million years ago. They were big. T-Rexes were big. Some of them were even bigger. The brontosauruses were even bigger. Uh, you know, why they got so big, I'm not sure. But they had all sizes. They had little bitty dinosaurs, little pipsqueak dinosaurs well, like that. Like dragonflies. Oh, the dragonflies. Okay, that's what you're getting at. Yeah. Well, I, I can tell you exactly why. Now, we have lungs, right? Yeah. Oh, baby, dude, don't ever start smoking. That damages your lungs <laughs> But we have lungs, and they're very efficient at doing one thing, taking oxygen out of the air and 